guys, the Olympus Tough system is by far one of the most interesting systems for underwater camera use uh, worldwide right now. We feel it. There's a lot of accessories that are being sold to this system that we uh, send to customers. And one of the reasons why it is so popular is due to the macro function that it has. But it's also a very capable system when it comes to wide angle, not the kind of wide angle that's included, but the kind of wide angle that you get by adding a wet lens wide angle on it. Uh, and the most popular and by far the most interesting one is the one from AOI, the UWL400A that I have mounted on a housing here. When you lie on the water and want to do a wide angle shot and then right after you want to do a macro shot, it can be quite tricky to take off the lens, but it is easily solved by using the QRS mounts that comes from the uh, AOI systems. As you can see here, it's a bayonet system that goes on and off like this, easy, on and off. And what I've done here is I've mounted it on the Seafrox SO3, the TG6, uh, TG5 and 6 camera housing. And this bayonet system is not only great, but it's a little bit tricky when you get it to mount it. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's have a look here. I have a new SO3 camera system here. Uh, this is what it looks like coming out of the box. It actually has a, a mount ring here. It has an M52 thread underneath and with the bayonet, it has an M67. So I want to mount the new UWL 400A here. And as you can see, that comes standard with an M67 thread. So you'd have to mount it down here like this, which is not great. Did I say M67? It's not correct. It's the M52 thread. So I'd have to take this one off and screw it into there. See, there's an easier way, and that is by using the bayonets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount first the housing bayonet here, and I'm going to show you how that is done. The bayonet is a quite flat little thing here. After unpacking, I uh, have to do a slight modification too. You see there are some small hinges there. These are actually made for mounting onto the original Olympus housing or the fantasy system. The other housings around doesn't have the, the, the slots where these goes into, so you'd have to remove them. It's quite easily done. Just take a star screwdriver, put it into here, take it out. Careful once you loosen it. There you go. On the other side as well. The reason why these hinges are there is because you don't want the bayonet mount system to be circling around on the housing like this. But it's actually not a problem at all. You can easily mount it onto here. Now we just have to screw it onto the system. And that's done by this little tool that is included in the package. There we go. And now we can mount it here. I'm very keen at having the, the white dot going upwards so I can see where it is I want to place my lens when I'm mounting it. So what you can see here is the bayonet underneath here that is not tightened. That one has to be tightened as well. There we go. So now it's all nice and fitted tightly. Now it's the time for the bayonet system here to be mounted onto the lens. As you can see here, it is an adapter that sits out on the front here. And that one has to come off. And that is included in this other package. AOI has several lenses and all of them, all the newer ones at least, has this QRIS system. So we'd have to take these screws off, which is quite easily done as well. The little star screw driver. So now I mount this one as well instead. And as you can see, there's a white little dot here. That is the one we're steering after when you want to mount the lens on the housing on the water. But I need to find these holes here. There we go. Boom. And now I just mount the same screws into the holes. And now we're actually ready to the final part and that is mounting the lens into the camera. Here you go. And as you can see, uh, the shade doesn't fit or it doesn't sit exactly where it should. So this one will be loosening. There we go. And here it sits. And then we tighten the screws again. And 
action. And now we have the new lens sitting here. And it's now easily taken on and off. As you can see, the bayonet system now functions as an easily easy on and off system. And then when you're not using the lens, obviously you would like to place it in a lens holder. And as you can see here, lens holder is a similar mount system, QRS mount system, that you just mount on an arm. Uh, so underwater, you can attach it there while you're doing some macro. That's the uh, QRS system. Don't forget that there is also a macro version of the QRS system. So here you can mount an extra lens in. It sits like this. I know there's a macro function in the tough cameras, but Sometimes people like to add an extra powerful macro there instead. And this way you can use the same bayonet system as for an external macro lens. Quite easy. And every time you have a lens, you also need to have a lens holder. So if you have both a macro lens and a wide angle lens, you need two lens holders on your system.